spray stop when I'm with Yahweh. The guy that gave Isaac and Jacob. His priest is our Adorah tribe Levi. Uh, basically, I want to do like a little commentary um, that I just heard from, uh, you know, not a response, but, you know, my thoughts on uh, a video by Tommy Sotomayor, you know. His brother, you know, is uh, it's controversial. But what he says, it needs to be said. You know what I'm saying? No sugar coat, no nothing, man. A lot of our women hate him, but, you know, you must be a whore. That's probably why. Um, let me get this. This is Titus 2 and 3. The older woman, likewise, that they be reverent, reverent in behavior, not slanderous, not giving too much wine, teachers of good things. So the, the age woman has to be so minded. You know, why? To teach the younger woman. This is uh, verse 4. That they admonish the young woman to love their husbands, to love their children. And that's that's the failing, you know, of what happened, man. You know what I'm saying? And now we have all types of whoredom within our people, man. You know? Let's go. This is uh, Proverbs 7 and 7. And I saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths, a young man uh, devoid, uh, devout, devoid of understanding. You know what I'm saying? And that's what you get in a mother single parent households, which are ran by mothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Isaiah 3 and 12 says, women ruled over them. And that's what's happening in our, the black community. You know, even the Latino community, the women are ruling over. But let's focus specifically on the Southern Kingdom. Which is the Negroes, you know. Um, let's see. Passing along the street near her, her corner, and he took the path to her house. And this is, you know, explaining what happened to was what's happening today, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, Jake is, you know, these young men, you know, black men in particular, you know, chasing after these whores, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why 70% of the household is women, man, you know. But, you know, uh, I think it's Ecclesiasticus that says, you know what I'm saying, um, a wicked man is given out to a wicked woman, man. So it's always a balance with that. But, you know, where, you know, that's where the juveniles are coming from, man. Single households, man. That's where all these whoredoms and stuff is coming from, you know. Um, let's go. Uh, in the twilight, in the evening, in the black, in the dark night, and there's a woman met him. With a tire of a harlot or a whore, which the majority of our women are, in a crafty heart. And she was loud. Come on. <laughs> she was loud and rebellious, and her feet would not stay at home. That's, that's why those women are thirsty travelers, man. You know what I'm saying? They call men thirsty, but they all walk around naked, man. What sense does that make, man? You know, the scripture always warns a man about women, right? But it never uh, uh, warns a woman about a man. Because why? A man thinks with logic. A woman thinks with emotion. Therefore, she's more to do to the evil spirit or to Satan, man. <laughs> let's buddy get Let's get it. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus uh, 25 and... 16. I would rather dwell with a lion and a dragon to than to keep house with a wicked woman, man. That's why the man is fleeing from the household, you know, usually, you know. Because, you know, that woman is killing that man's spirit, man. And that man may have dealt with, you know, his mother yelling, you know what I'm saying? Or, or tormenting him and abusing him with this verbal abuse. We don't talk about that enough, you know. Once again, shout out to Tommy for bringing these, these true situations out, man. Not enough guys do it, man. Um, the wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkens her countenance like sackcloth. You know what I'm saying? Like you see, if a woman's real evil and this soulless, you know, you can see it all over them, man. The demons, man. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he hear it, shall sigh bitterly. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, she tormented, you know, everybody. Like, uh, my wife again, you know? Verse 19. All wickedness 
is but little to the wickedness of a woman. You know what I'm saying? Once again, no amount of wickedness can compare to wickedness of a woman, man. Straight like that, man. Let the portion of her sinner fall upon her, man. So shout out to Tommy for bringing it out and, you know, them whores in Miami, man, at Miami High School, you know, shame on them single mothers once again, you know, the failures of the parents, all right, which are, which are the women who rule this community, all right, and you men also need to step up, but you women got to, you know, see, women won't take correction, man, that's another thing, man, I know men who would love to step up, man, but the woman ain't going to take correction, man. Um, what else? I got something else, man. Second Ezra, five and eight. You know, there shall be confusion also in many places, and the fire shall be sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and the monstrous woman shall bring forth, and monstrous woman shall bring forth monsters, shall bring forth monsters, and the monsters, you know, are in a jungle with, which are is a high school. That I have to go to and deal with these animals, and I see whores and thugs, and that's all they portray: destruction, genocide. That's why you got, you know, for the dick challenge and for the challenge, because our people have no order. They don't, they don't want no structure, man. That's why the majority will die, man. Will die in your sins, man. Because you fail to take correction, man. And really, your master is the white man. The most religious people got the sickest mouth, man. The sickest spirits, man. With that show, man.